as a gay man, being involved in theater is so natural. It's a cultural hiding place. It's like being a hairdresser or a florist. Like, where did, where was, I'm, I'm somewhat effeminate, where was I able to be comfortable expressing that um, was in theater. I remember reading a, a very cheap primer about dream analysis. They said, when you see a black person in your dreams, it, you're looking at a shadow. You're looking at a shadow of yourself, a part of yourself that you do not want to look at, part of yourself that might be negative. Now, what was interesting to me was that most of the people in my dreams were black. And I thought, well, that means I'm giving you lots of shadows, or this story, this book is not speaking to me. The minute that they hear the word storyteller, there's an image, rocking chair. And every school that I go to, or most schools that I go to, you know, they would pull out that rocking chair for me to sit in. I'm going to die. My audience will die. It's not my thing. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, one. Good, 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 good. If anyone had ever told me I was going to be directing opera, I mean, I would never have dreamed of such a thing. I look at the path now, and it is the most sensible, carefully laid out path. It looks like it was just a straight line. Absolutely.